What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Got another uh, what's in the box video for you today. We're working with the Revell 124th scale Land Rover Series 3 109 long wheelbase station wagon. This is a uh, this is a Hobby Lobby buy, 40% off. This kit had intimidated me from the first time I saw it. Like, oh my gosh, it's so big. The box is so big. It's a level five. That scares me. Oh no. And, uh, you know, as I've been building, I've only been doing this for a couple years now, uh, windows, glass windows are, <laughs> those have got to be my nemesis. Those and mirrors, the little tiny bits. It always seems like when I get towards the end, putting the windows in, ah, my fingers get all covered with goop and I just, I don't, I need to learn how to stop, walk away and come back and do those, you know, walk away and come back another day. Uh, so, you know, I've kind of gotten a little bit better about that. So my builds have gotten cleaner and cleaner. So I'm going to get into this. I'm going to do it. I actually have two of these. I, I bought another one during my uh, <clears throat> Momo modeler phase. Just one of those days I was in Hobby Lobby and it was the 40% off week and, you know, 40% off of $34.99. It, it just, it, it, it's a nice kit. I've seen it built up plenty of times by other people. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to adjust this light a little bit. Do a little more light over on this section. It's, it's a nice kit. It's a clean kit. I have cracked this open a little bit and looked at it but I never did an unboxing so we're gonna do that and then um, if uh, any of you oh, nice dull knife you know my regular viewers uh, have seen that I'm, I had kind of backed away from doing the time-lapse sequence builds uh, so in my last 500 subscribers video. Yay, 500 subs. I can't believe it. I'm just in awe. Uh, you know, give people what they want. I'm going to go back and try it. I'm going to try it with this one. We'll see how it works. So let's do a quick unbox, get this posted, and then I'll get into the actual building. I've already got some colors picked out. Um, going to go with the two-tone. going to go with a white top with a, with a blue body. And, um, you know, go from there like maybe a tan interior so let's uh pop the top flip it and check it and as is with some of the Revell kits they have these beautiful full color instruction manuals and this one is pretty thick I mean it's fairly substantial and you know most of the the full color manuals are, are really detailed it shows you know uh, what color call outs um, where decal should go and we'll get into the decal sheet in a second i have not quite studied this yet but you know we're gonna we're gonna do it we're just gonna do it so nice really nice manual full blow up of what all the parts are really cool so i mean that's almost like a little it's a, it's a book in itself and then the decals is this one that has them in it no shoot uh okay stand by i'll find them Let's just take a second dump out my decal page booklet that wait, was that them no I've gotten into printing my own decals and I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of got a bit of a collection going on here. I know that there's one set of them in this pile. Just got to dig through these. And there we go. I've used uh, something. I used one of the license plates, but they're really nice, really clean. Typical Ravel stuff. Uh, I kept questioning where they were printed. You see it right on, it says printed in Italy. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, you know, various uh, nation and state to type 
different license plates from you know what continent etc um nevada is the only american one nevada interesting uh you know it looks like speaker covers uh instrument clusters other decals for under the engine bay they all look really nice look really good so we will definitely be using those let me pull this mess out of the way pardon my reach so decals and let's uh, get back into this here. We'll go right to the body and then the tire. Nice, big, beautiful body. I don't see a whole lot of nothing. It's been I've it's been beaten up by me from going in and out of the box. It's got some scratches, but that's fine. I'll fix that. I can sand out, sand it, and fill it. Everything looks really clean. Nice, uh, good registration, good prominent lines. Looks like that door wouldn't be too hard to cut out and make open if you were so inclined, if someone was so inclined. Um, and the roof, let's see, where is that? Yeah. Like I said, I've already been in this. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plastic out and just Going to start going through it. Yeah, you can see it's got a little, little funky from, uh, from me pulling it in and out and looking at it. Going, oh, am I going to build it? No. Am I going to build it? No. But the roof, easy to make that a two-tone. Absolutely, but brainless, simple. You know, paint that one color, paint that another color. Bam, two-tone. Um, you can see in the picture that color wraps down around the side, so, you know, it's still, it won't be hard at all to, to mask off that lower area. And so I'll shoot the whole thing, whole part white, mask off and shoot the bottom uh, a blue. I'm going to go with a royal blue. This Model Masters, another, uh. Took advantage of the closeout. Angel Blue. GL Blue. Uh, can hardly read that cap anymore, but I've, I've sprayed some of this on something and seen what it looks like. It's, it's gonna be perfect on that car, truck, vehicle, whatever. So, there's the body. Looks really good. Looking forward to it. And then we'll continue this tree since we already got into it. Uh, wheelbacks and steelies nice uh stock steelies it's like a fan and a, a battery not sure why there's two is there two spares for this thing one for the roof and what i don't know we'll find out there's so many little bits in this thing. I, I don't know what a lot of it is. I'm not going to be able to call them out. Um, those that looks like a bumper. Uh, 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 grab, grab bars. I, I don't know. I'm really not sure what that stuff is. But I'm going to try and blow through this quickly so that I can get it posted. And you hear the ambient music in the background. I'm playing a uh, YouTube Lo-Fi channel. There's the motor. What is that? A six? Two, four, six. Yeah, inline six. Is it an inline or a slant? It's hard to tell from that picture. Looks like it might have a bit of a slant to it. Don't know. Yeah, kind of, kind of does, doesn't it? Uh, I, I know nothing about these things. Nothing. So I'm sure I'll learn a little bit as I'm doing research on the internet, the interwebs. But there's your motor halves, stock exhaust, some. But I'm not sure what that is, an oil filler. More racks, uh, optional roof racks. You don't have to use them. Um, I may or may not use those, I don't know. I haven't fully figured out which direction this build will go. Like I said, I have two of them. My idea was one of them, all it will get 
come on, get out of there. Oh, so that's a puzzle of breaking stuff waiting to happen. Come on. How did... There we go. Uh, yet I digress. Squirrel, um, either slammed or lifted. You, you know how I do. And I've actually even thought about maybe, maybe chopping the top of it off and making it a, a, safar, a safari vehicle. Don't know. So we've got, hmm, interesting. Two sets of mirrors. I'm not sure why. For the doors and for the fenders? Oh my gosh, no. Correction. Three sets of mirrors. Uh, looks like a... Looks like the radiator grill, radiator front. Uh, maybe headlight buckets. Mm. This one looks like hood springs. Um, more, more bars, more grab bars and roof rack bars. No idea. Let's grab another bag. There's, there's a lot of parts in this thing. So hence it being a level five, I guess it's a high parts count. But and then more I, I don't know what that is. No idea. But there's a flat thing and a rectangle box thing and a rounded corner thing. <laughs> Looks like that might be a firewall. Uh gear shift, more handles. I I'm assuming that there's gonna be extra parts. There's gonna be stuff left over in this thing. And then, oh, very cool, very cool. Right hand or left hand drive options. That's always neat, I like to see that. Give you the choice instead of making it right hand or left hand. Uh, seats, seat backs, uh, benches. I, I do know that these things had an interesting side bench, like the benches in the back were this way, they were that way, and that way. So that's probably what those are. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like it might be wheel wells. I don't know. I'm sure the instructions will tell me. And then here's some uh, various hoses. Uh, there's the distributor, little teeny tiny guy. Some hoses and engine components and Looks like that might be a brake cylinder, master cylinder. Wow, that thing's tiny. Uh, again, I don't know a lot about these things. I wonder what the what the weight is. Uh, more engine components, pulleys and oil pan, radiator and shroud, uh, water pump, jacket. Moving on, more interior and there's the hood. Everything looks nice, doesn't have any, you know, there's nominal, nominal flash. Um, <clears throat> it's, uh, I believe it's a relatively new mold. Uh, I don't know actually, I take that back. I think that this might be a reissue. I don't know. I can look on scale mates, but I don't really care. Uh, it looks clean. Got a little bit of warpage going on there from, whoa, look at that. <laughs> it's been sitting in the box for way too long. So hopefully it'll cooperate when I go to put it together. Get this stuff out of the way. I'll keep doing that. Make a separate pile. Pardon my, pardon my fumbling, fiddling with plastic. That over there. You can stay over there for now. I already looked at that one. Uh, interior tub thing, which looks really plain. Not a whole lot of details at all in there. So it will be uh, I'll do mine up kind of like a typical Land Rover would be a utilitarian type vehicle. The door cards are ginormous with limited detail but it's prominent you know the door handles and and whatever knobs and stuff 
they are they do stick out so those will paint up nicely uh, another side of the firewall and last white plastic bag that obviously I've never been in like I said I've got two of these and it intimidated me I'm not even sure what I was thinking right about the other one I, I know what I was thinking it's a cool car and it's 40% off so there's the frame God, is that straight yeah, it's straight enough. Hopefully it didn't get too warped sitting. That's another reason I really needed to bought, build this, is it's been sitting in the box for too long. It's gone through some extreme weather changes. Hot, cold, hot, cold. So there's the nice, solid one-piece frame. Looks good. More seats and some pedals. It looks like, I'm not sure what that is, a horn maybe? Teeny wipers, hoses, shocks, looks like a air cleaner. And the suspension parts tree, wow, you can really see some warpage in that. Man, okay, hope this thing doesn't fight me too much. So there's a uh, huge, huge leaf spring stacks. Good Lord. Now I feel like I do want to look up what the what the ratings and weight and stuff in this thing is. Here's your front and rear pumpkins, differentials. And, uh, looks like, yes, they both have... I'm not sure where the other one is, but there's a cover for it. You can, always looks neat to paint those up a different color. Mm, big single piece exhaust. And... More seat parts, I think. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. The tires. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. So we got five. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. Ha, 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 ha. Come on. We all know who that is. Five solid, oh, it's kind of hard rubber, kind of hard, but it's got a nice tread to it. You know, that's, ooh, wow, that, was, that would look good slammed, wouldn't it? Was it big slicks back there? <laughs> I don't know, but not for this one. We're gonna build it and just see how it builds up first. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So, those look nice, you know, good looking tire. Decent looking uh, utilitarian. And then last we have the, oh, we'll take them out, but I'm gonna put them back in. So I wanna try to keep these as clean as I can. Come on, piece of junk. Got that novelty store. Oh, so many little parts. But, you know, I found that uh, a lot of times the Ravel glass just goes in nicer. So there's, you know, there's uh, one section, one part, and there's another. Oh, neat, look at the little roof windows. And yes, you do have to use those, there's a big hole in the body. Headlights, uh, various marker lights. Yes, you don't have to use the front or side windows but you could hmm. might be neat to like cut that and make it look like it's halfway open or something wow listen to me very simple build and i'm already talking about cutting the doors open and cutting the roof off and slamming it i just can't leave well enough alone so that about does it for the Ravel land rover pretty cool um pretty excited about doing this kit finally it's been staring at me in my stash for too long it's time to do it uh sort of in light of the uh 500 subs celebration woohoo let's move forward and like i said i'm gonna try my best to do a segmented build sequence video no promises but we'll see what happens so there you go thanks for watching we'll see you next time